If we trust in God, no earthly power can harm us or overcome us. Greetings to you in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to the 31st day of our journey from wilderness to Calvary. Today's readings highlight to us about God's trust or our trust in God can empower us. At the same time, it will not allow the world to harm us. This is beautifully explained to us from the book of Daniel, chapter 3, verses 52 to 56. As we all know the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who were asked to bow before the golden molded God and worship by King Nebuchadnezzar. But then the, these three deny or fail to worship. They say that neither, either we are, we are ready to die than to worship the golden molded thing. My dear brothers and sisters, the king Nebuchadnezzar who becomes fierce who becomes very angry and then asks them to heat up the oven for seven times more than the usual. And then they put all these three into this oven. And we find that the king and other people are surprised to see four people. And the king who seen this takes himself into surprise and tells, we have only put three, but where this fourth man has come? It is the angel of God which has come. My dear brothers and sisters, the trust that these three had in God had saved their lives. No power on earth. The king was very powerful, no doubt. The people who were around him might have worshipped God, but that never bothered these three. They were convinced about their trust in God. They had experience in God and that made them to save not only themselves but to save the king and the whole kingdom. What a beautiful thing my dear brothers and sisters. Our faith should be off like that. And that's why in the gospel today Jesus tells his disciples, if you continue in my word you will know the truth and the truth will make you free or the truth will set you free. These three servants of God, Shadrach, Meshach and Abinadego, these three made the king to know the truth and that has saved or set him free. Set him free from believing in other gods. Set him in, setting him free from every sin that he was into. My dear brothers and sisters, how is our trust in God? Is our trust a peripheral or is our trust just a material based or it is like give and take? If God gives me, I trust in him. If it does, God doesn't give me, I don't believe in him. My dear brothers and sisters, we mortgage God for our selfish reasons, selfish things. Therefore, today, as we are getting closer and closer to celebrate the mysteries of God, how much of trust, how much of experience that I've gained through my observances. Just have a look back, look back. The sacrifices that I made, the prayers that I made, the charity bills that I'm doing, are all these things building my trust in God or because of the temptations, am I losing the trust in God. Where do I stand? Where do you stand? If you like this small piece of reflection, kindly comment, like and share and do not forget to contribute. God bless you and have a wonderful day.